Hello, welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is D-Free, and for this video, we're gonna go ahead and play Jump Booty Heroes, and that is spelled Jump, U-T-I, <laughs> one word, uh, Heroes. And if you didn't know, this is uh, another one of those Shonen Jump crossover games, just like Ori Collection. It's kind of like the same thing as far as like the characters that are in it. They have access to the entire Shonen genre, basically. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do a gameplay on it. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how it functions, and you can decide whether or not it is something that you would want to get. So first and foremost, this is a Japanese game, just like Ori Collection, it will probably never get a global release slash English release. Then this, that's just kind of how things are. A lot of games don't get English releases. There are so many other uh, just anime-centric games that are on the Japanese market that never have and never will make it to English. So if you're apprehensive about that type of thing and don't want to play it because of the language barrier, I 100% understand. Uh, that's just how things are. You know, I'm sorry. That's just how things are. So if you want to give it a try, you'll have to. Now, that being said, for iOS people, here's the deal. It's always going to be a little bit harder just because the way the device is not open sourced. Uh, you have to go ahead and get an iOS uh, Japanese store iTunes account. So kind of just the same way you would have done to get JP Dokkan. So if you want to kind of figure out how to do that, just type in uh, how to go ahead and get a iOS, uh, a Japanese iTunes account, basically. That'll help you out. And you should be able to find it on the store after you do that. And you'd be able to play. Uh, and then on Android, you can get it from like KuApp. You know, KuApp is what you use to get all these different region games when it comes to Android. Very quick, very easy, very simple. Uh, and one thing I want to point out is apparently some people need access to a VPN to use it because it tries to register. Uh, it, it only wants to register this game from Japan servers so that being said if you're like outside of Japan it might not work for you without a VPN and I was one of those people so I had to use touch VPN on Android that worked you might be able to use something like tunnel bear on iOS or Android just set it to Japan as your server and you'd be good to go it works instantly once you change it I'm talking about that literally is a free service it took me about 30 seconds to set up last little bit before we show off a little bit uh, it apparently is very hard to get this game working on an emulator. I tried a bit and I did some research. It's not a very talked about game, so it's kind of hard to do research on it. But I didn't see a lot pertaining to it. I have seen some people get it to work on like Blue Stacks. It doesn't seem to work on Nox, you know. And, and there's of course other emulators. You just have to try it from there. But again, Jump Booty Heroes. That is short for Weekly Shonen Jump Ultimate Heroes. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some gameplay and do some summons. All right. So when it comes down to it. Let's go ahead and go out on an adventure. Oops, wrong button. So we're going to come over here. All right, so we're actually on the third island now. Um, there's tons of islands. I, I have This is the first time I've checked that out. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot to do. All right, let's come back over here. So apparently the islands are centric to the worlds. So this one's One Piece centric, etc., etc. Uh, we'll just kind of do it here. And, of course... Let's go ahead and jump in. This is the team I am using. Of course, I have the Krillin. And uh, so when you play the game, when you pick it up, you get to decide a uh, five-star character. You get to choose any five-star character available in the pool at that time. Um, and you get to choose it. So for that, I chose Yusuke. Now, here's the game. It is basically Shonen Jump cross Crash Fever. Like, that's it. Or like, you know, Candy Crush. Kind of like Dokkan. It's similar. It's, it's not really any different from that. The characters have really cool animations and stuff, but also in the top left corner, you have your generic type circle <laughs> or the type triangle, I guess. But either way, you have the little icon that shows you which colors are weak to other colors, etc., etc. That's just how things work. So we're going to go ahead and focus on Usopp here. Uh, and we're going to let... Actually, we're going to bring out Botan. Alrighty. Orito. Tech up. <laughs> I like it though because it's kind of like it's like chibi, right? It, it, it's it's different. Like I like the chibi element. Sorry, Nami. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, so let me give you these. I need to get some greens going. Okay, that's ten greens that'll also pop the skill for me. Uh, next round. I forgot I took the green guy off. I had a green character in there instead of Poopy Head from Bobo Bo. I forgot his name. That's the thing about these games is I'm not going to know everybody's names all the time. <laughs> I just won't because I'm not super great with names, but it is what it is. I forgot his name now. All right, so we're going to go for the yellows, right? Yellow, orange, I don't know. Uh, we don't need any HP regen, so we'll just give you some blues. In fact, yeah, I'll give you some blues, whatever. And a whole bunch of reds or fires. So we're also going to pop off a skill here, so that's nice. 
This game's pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, looks very nice, to be honest. I like the whole like small element, the chibi-esque element as well. I think it looks pretty nice. I think the animations can start looking really clean and good as well. Depends on the character and depends on the animation. For example, Yusuke has a really nice one that I'm going to try to show off here, but Yusuke's animation's really nice. Uh, there's seven greens, and that will actually pop Yusuke's, so next round I'll be able to use it. Technically, I could use it here if I want to. Uh, I will actually use use case. That's fine. Alrighty. And for the final one, you can have those. There's a bunch of blues lined up next round for Yusuke if you would like them. So we're going to get that spirit gun. See, it looks pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and of course, you know, the Dragon Ball characters are in this. Naruto characters. Uh, my hero characters. I was very, very tempted to pick up Midoriya instead of Yusuke, but I love Yu Yu Hakusho, man. So for today's question of the day, if you guys could have any character, you know, in the Shonen universe as a character for any game, let me know which one you would choose. I guess it kind of would have to pertain to what I was saying earlier where you get to choose a character. But just pretend you had the game in your hand right now. Which one would you choose? Any character from any uh, Shonen, you know, anime or manga. That's kind of how things were. So a bunch of blues lined up here, but I kind of want to see Krillin's skill really badly. Uh, I really want to see Krillin's skill, so I'm actually going to get these and give Krillin all of those. 15, that should allow me to get Yusuke and Krillin's. So there's Krillin's skill, and we got Yusuke's as well, so hopefully, um, oh no, it's going to let me use both of them. This game's kind of wonky, it's kind of, not, not wonky in a bad way, it's just kind of weird to, to understand it, especially from a long time Doken player like me. Because it goes in both directions, uh, you know, as far as like the uh, patterns for it. That Kienzan that destructed is, we yeah, have the the patterns for like where the bubbles go. It doesn't just go upwards; it goes upwards, backside, you know, all that stuff. Wherever there's a connected color, it works. That's why I said it's like Crash Fever. I haven't played a game like that in a really long time, but it's very very similar to that Candy Crush, Crash Fever, that type of stuff. So we did pick up some gold. I don't even know everything about the game. I've only been playing it for like 45 minutes, to be honest. But I already tweeted about it, and I actually was going to actually hold off on tweeting about it because I didn't want to show it off until I learned a little bit more about it. So forgive me if I can't really tell you a whole lot, but I'll try to get some guides and stuff like that going for you. But I, the reason I decided to do the video now is because I tweeted about it, and people were like, oh, what game is that? <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn. I knew this was going to happen, so why? I couldn't resist. So anyways... Let's go ahead and jump into some pulls. So if you were to start the game right now, you see all these banners are available. Uh, you know, you can pull on the, all these banners, get these different characters. So for this one, you would have Goku as one of the main featured units that you could get. It does cost 1,000 rupees to get the multi-summons done. And as you saw, there's a bunch of worlds. So, it, you know, it's something that... There's Midoriya there. He looks so nice. That's freaking awesome. Uh, you know, it's something that you would be able to do just by playing the game. You know, uh, it shouldn't take you, like, super long. Uh, but I did go ahead and use the power of the credit card just to give you guys this video. Also, we have this banner here that does feature a blue Vegeta. The color is in the top left, as you see, blue, uh, right above level 99. I can't really, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's still here as well in the top left corner. He's a green character, a green character. Ooh, Karama. I like that rose, man. Uh, but just because I want some Naruto characters in my account, let's go over here. We'll do a pull for Naruto because there's also a Kakashi event that's live right now. Unfortunately, I'm basically going to miss it. It start, it ends in like a few hours or so, uh, so I won't be able to get that done in time. I, I need a few days to really get my account going, and that applies to you guys too if you haven't played the game. Uh, you know, there's a Kakashi event currently, but Naruto is boosted on that event. He's also a yellow character, which is good against the blue typing. So let's go ahead and jump into our first summon and see what we can do. All right. I love this, man. It starts off showing you like a weekly Shonen Jump manga. That's so tight. <sighs> Come on. Go again. All right. Go one more time. Please. 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 Oh, yes. So we're getting a five star here. Oh, one five star and three four stars. Okay. There's a four star. And I'm not going to know all these characters. I already said it. I don't know who these guys are. Oh, man. Oh, hey. You again. I wonder what dupes are used for. Uh, three star. Another three star. I wonder if it's saving my five star for last. Okay. It's unfortunate that I can't get hype about these guys. One, I don't know who they... Ooh, Karama! I can get hype about that. I was going to say, it's kind of unfortunate I can't really get too hype about these guys because I don't know what they do or... 
you know, who they are first and foremost, <laughs> but mainly what they do. It's kind of hard because I could have got some incredible stuff. I just don't know who they are. Uh, well, Karamo actually wasn't even featured on this banner. He was featured on the Vegeta banner. So apparently the pools stay the same. Um, and then this banner. Oh, the Yusuke. And Gintama. Gin. Uh, oh, you can see the pools here. So that's pretty cool. Four stars. Is there a Hiei in here? I would like a Hiei. Oh, look at that Vegeta looking nice up there. <laughs> and then Krillin and Usopp. I already have Krillin, of course. So actually, we'll do one more pull. Um, Let me see what's here. I can just kind of... I don't... I don't really see much reason. Oh, there is a Hiei. Oh, that's not Hiei. Whoops. I thought I was scrolling by. I thought that was Hiei. I don't really see much reason. Ooh, Bakugo. I don't really see much reason for the third time saying it uh, to kind of pull on some of these banners unless there's a difference in what they're featuring or what they're showing uh, on the banners as opposed to just feature. Like a Goku and Vegeta right there. <laughs> Dragon Bolt. Eh, whatever. We'll just come here again just because I want Naruto because I'm going to miss Kakashi. Hopefully I don't get shafted. Please go three times. Cool. One. I mean, well, to the third time. Come on. Yes. Thank you. I will not take the shaft today. At least two. Two, please. Uh, only one, but a bunch of four stars. So I'll take that. I almost thought that was Botan for a second. Oh, doggy. You're my five star. <laughs> oh, Ochako. Some people's best girl. Uh, Loki, that character reminded me of Misty. What's that dog's name? Bolt? Something like that. Maybe I'm totally off. But, uh, and I'm getting it confused with another dog. Uh, but I've seen it before. I use it a lot, actually, in Ori Collection. And, of course, this is, I, I believe, an anniversary game. Like, it's not here to... If you play Ori Collection, you enjoy Ori Collection, it's not here to replace that, right? They, they're supposed to exist side by side. Uh, Ori Collection just came out, like, what, eight months ago or something like that. It's not going to go away that fast. But uh, they're supposed to kind of just, you know, coincide and be a couple of different ways for you guys to interact with uh, the games and just kind of play different things and also different money suckers for you. And if you're on Android, you don't have any apprehension. You can go to the shop and just buy it easy if you would like to. Like I said, power of the credit card worked in this. On iOS, at least you have some protection because it's like, yo, uh, you got to get gift cards, bro. So... <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this video on Jump Hoodie Heroes. Uh, definitely want to do more gameplay. I just got to learn it more. Like, I got to learn the mechanics. I got to learn how it works. There's tons of events currently going right now. As you see, there's just tons of stuff. Dead or alive. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Um, before we get out, I do want to show you guys all, what all is currently running. Uh, that is not the right section. This is little stuff like this. See, these are all the events that are alive. This is the Kakashi one. No. Oh, there's not much time unfortunately um but look at all this stuff and then these are probably the character enhancements that's pretty much what I'm, I'm certain those are what those are for uh so anyways like i said when i learn the game uh i'll be popping up more content so stay tuned if you enjoyed make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video down below in the description will be a link to the app on ku app if you would like to download it through there like i was saying earlier you will if you get an error code in the beginning of the game, it's because you need a VPN. If you start and it doesn't download, it doesn't let you proceed, it is because you need a VPN server like uh, Tunnel Bear, like One Touch VPN, like uh, you know Open VPN, things of that nature, right? And those should be free. If you want to get a VPN subscription, you can through those apps if you would like to. You would also need to set your VPN to Japan, and it would work for you. Again, if you see anybody in the comments asking about that, just timestamp that part of the video for them, please. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you all in the next Jump Woody Heroes video.